So I'm going to show you the length function in Excel. And it's just len, len. It just measures how many characters are in a cell. So I'm going to type in equals len, and then select L cell A1, and it has a length of two. There's two characters. And I'll just hit Control C and just copy that down. So you can see Ben has three characters, Carl has four. So it counts the characters. So if I have one, two, three, it's going to have three. It doesn't matter if it's a letter or number or a combination, A, B, C, one, two, three, that's six. <clears throat> but if it was A space B, C, that's not three, that's four because the space or A, B, C space is also four. But A, B, C is three. <clears throat> And if you have like a spreadsheet and you wanted to um, find out how many items had three characters in it, obviously we could see it's two, but what if this list was like 200 deep? This is only six names, but if there's two 300 names, it would be hard to count manually. So you can throw an if statement in there and you could do in cell C1 equals if this equals three, then one, else I'll put a blank instead of a zero, which is double quotes. So it doesn't equal three characters, and I'll copy that down. And then I could just sum this column <clears throat> to find out how many names have only four letters in it. There's two names. I mean, sorry, how many names have three letters in it? Only two of them have three letters. So if you enjoyed the length function, and I use the length also, if I have a lot of data and I need to find like certain information, so sometimes like the length won't find information, but it could help me exclude like text. Sometimes you have text, like a lot of, like a string of text that is just kind of jumbled in there. It could just help eliminate that by doing the length and then doing a sort. Um, so you can use it in conjunction with a lot of other functions as well. So hit the like button, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.